What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another episode of Supersonic Snacks. Today, I have something real special. Bitter melon. So it's typically an Asian vegetable. And it does taste bitter. So if you've never tried it before, get some and try it out. So it basically tastes like a little bit like okra, but just a little bit bitter. Alright, so we're going to deep fry this in tempura batter. Real simple. Just use some salt and crushed red pepper. So I'm going to cut the melon and then remove the seeds in the middle. And I'll show you what it looks like. So here is how to prepare a bitter melon. You just cut it along the long side. In the middle there are a whole bunch of seeds so you want to remove all of this. All this white stuff, the seeds. Just remove it all and wash it. You just want the green part. After I remove the seeds then I'm going to cut it at an angle into slices which I'll show you. Alright, so here I have all the seeds removed from a bitter melon. And I'm going to attempt to cut it with one hand. Just to show you guys how it should be cut in an angle. So do the same for the rest of it. So here I have my bitter melon washed and cut up getting ready to put some tempura mix in here so here I'm just using one third cup of tempura mix with like five tablespoon teaspoon of water to stir real well but because the winter melon is naturally bitter what I'm gonna do is add some sugar in it so one teaspoon Actually, maybe one and a half. Stir, mix it in real good. Alright, just throw in some, a handful of bitter melon. Like that. Just mix it in real good. In the meantime, I have my fryer on high so it's ready you know what I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper in it what the heck why not over to the fryer. Fry is red hot at max. Alright, let me make sure that's all coated. I might have added too much water, but let's see how it goes. Alright, let's put this in the frying pan. Added the rest of the bitter melon. Now it's frying on high. See that? So I've been frying this on high for about three minutes. Now it's done. Note that it's slightly golden brown. So that's good. Turn off the power. Drain the oil. And then I'll do a taste test to see how it tastes. Alright, so here you see the finished result. Deep fried bitter melon. 
Here I just have a little bit of yin yang going on with the sriracha sauce. Check it out. Lightly fried. Smells good with the tempura batter. Let me cut one of these so you can see the cross section and see what it looks like. See that? Three minutes and it's done. Golden brown. Wow, it actually tastes amazing. This is actually the first time I've ever done this. Actually, my video is going to be the first one ever showing fried bitter melon. It's another piece. Let me try it without sriracha. Wow, it's good. Wow, I'm amazed. I think the tempura's flavor, it kind of masks the bitterness a little bit. So, like I said, it actually does taste like fried okra, except this tiny bit bitter. Oh, I'm loving this dish. So it's simply easy to make. Guys, subscribe, comment. Only I can bring it live. So, until next time. Peace.